Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated books of 2015. I have nine books on my list, so I'm going to get started. Number nine on my list is The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Now, a lot of people have read Emery Lord's other book called Open Road Summer, and I've heard a lot of great things about that. I was lucky enough to get an advanced copy of this book. I'm not really sure what it's about, although I do know it's an emotional contemporary, and this book comes out on March 31st. Number eight on my list is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Everyone knows Alexandra Bracken's The Darkest Mind series. This is her new series, which is a fantasy series. I don't really know that much of what it's about, but I do know that it comes out in the fall of this year. Number seven on my list is Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the final book in the Lunar Chronicles series, which is a series of futuristic retellings, which I love. The great thing about this series is that every book has been better than the rest, so I expect that Winter will be the best book in the series. Number six on my list is Throne of Glass number four by Sarah J. Moss. This book does not have a title, a cover, or release date yet, although I expect it will come out in September of next year. Throne of Glass is such an amazing fantasy series, and with this series, again, each book is better than the rest, and the third book left off at a very interesting place, and I can't wait to catch up with some of my favorite characters like Selena and Kaol again. Number five on my list is another book by Sarah J. Moss, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses. And this book comes out in May, and I think this is an adult fantasy series of hers. The only thing that I've heard about it, it is it is a fairy retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I have not been very lucky with fairy books that I've read, although I adore Sarah J. Moss, and I will read anything that she writes, and I'm very excited to pick up this new fantasy series of hers. Number four on my list is Confess by Colleen Hoover. I absolutely adore Colleen Hoover. I will read anything that she writes. This book, I believe, focuses on the romance between two artists, so I expect that it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. And this book comes out on March 10th, which is a few days after my birthday, so that's a bit of a kind of late birthday present for me. Number three on my list is Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. This book comes out in May, and I have read every single one of Sarah Dessen's books. I believe this book will be her 12th book, and this one I believe is said to be kind of a more, a more emotional and darker book from her. And I just love her writing. There's, her books are just so great. They're fun contemporaries, and I can't wait to see what she writes next. Number two on my list is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. The first book in this series was To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is one of my favorite books of the year. And P.S. I Still Love You and kind of picks up where that book left off, which was kind of on a bit of a cliffhanger. And this is the second book in this duology, and I can't wait to see how it ends. I hope that the main characters end up happy and together. And the number one book on my list is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. And this book actually, I believe, comes out on January 27th, so I don't have to wait that long. In case you guys didn't know, I love Gail Foreman. I went to a signing of hers two years ago, and I got to meet her, which was amazing. I love her If I Stay duology. I also love the Just One Day duology. This book is actually a standalone, and it's about this girl whose friend commits suicide, and she kind of has to figure out why she did it. And this book just sounds so emotional and fantastic. And I know that some people have already gotten their copies of this book, and they have all said that they loved it. So let me know in the comments down below what your guys' most anticipated books of the year are. Do you agree with any of mine? Are there any books that I left off the list that I shouldn't have? So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again soon.